Hi guys, it's Chelsea. Um, I haven't been on for a very long time. I felt that my videos were getting a bit repetitive in terms of what I was going through. I am now done my chemo. So my last chemo was on October the 4th. It's now November the 5th. Um, I do not need to see my doctor for six months, my oncologist, medical oncologist. Um, he feels my scans were wonderful. Um, my gallium scan paint came back completely negative, which is wonderful. And my CT scan was no different from midway than it was to now, meaning that midway it had gotten all my cancer completely out. The next few treatments were for good measure and there was no change from there, which is a good indicator. Most people think that that's bad, but it's good. Um, I then went and saw, oh, I got my pick line out. I got a nasty scar and my poor skin was very angry, but um, it's okay, it didn't hurt. I got it out, it was glorious, oh my gosh. It was just so nice not to have to worry uh, about that, about every little movement you make. Not that I worried every little movement, but it became a part of me towards the end. But at the beginning, it's you're so mindful of it. Um, I went and saw my radiologist oncologist on the 1st of November, and he had let me know that he didn't feel I needed radiation. He said radiation is good for some people and, and real people do need it. He said, but because there was no change from my midway scan till now, um, the likelihood of my Hodgkin's coming back is very low. Um, because the area where they would need to radiate is on the left side and because it's in here in my chest and in my armpit, they would have to cover this area to radiate. Um, and that is that a, gives me an increased chance of getting lung or breast cancer. Well, I thought to myself, hmm, better the devil I know than the devil I don't. So I, God forbid, if I ever have to go through this again, I would have, to, I would choose Hodgkin's over breast or lung cancer. Um, he agreed, like, he, he's of the same thinking and I'm young, so I don't, he doesn't want me to have any more cancer. Neither do I, thank goodness. Um, okay, so now what? I'm asking myself the same question. So now what? I've been a cancer patient for the past six months and now all of a sudden, that's it, bye, see ya. See ya in six months. Used to seeing you every six days kind of a thing and now six months. Paranoid, yeah. Uh, I, my legs are itching again. Similar itching to I had one before I had Hodgkin's and they had attributed that itching to one of the symptoms of Hodgkin's. Okay, now what do I do? I've been told that it's just dry legs. Well, I was told that before, but it was Hodgkin's. So just a little disconcerting, and I know by my scans that it is likely gone, but I'm just wondering how long this paranoia lasts. And I've heard from others, it does, everyone gets it. It's for sure, you don't want this cancer back again. It does take time. Everything about this takes time. Time, time, time. Oh, how annoying. Um, uh, on that note, everybody thinks I'm done. Oh, you're done your chemo. No, October 4th, chemo's done. Yeah, okay, done for you guys in terms of what I'm, yes, the cycle of chemo's done, but my healing, holy Hannah, is taking me longer, like I feel worse now than I did going through chemo. I had the pattern down pat with chemo and it would let you get better, right? So each time being, this is your best, this is your worst. So with the starting of your chemo, you're like, oh, back to your good and then back down. Oh, back to your good, back down. Well, towards the end, I never got up to my good. So now towards the end, I'm like just flatlining down to feeling awful. Um, it's been a month, one whole month since I have had my last dose of chemo and I'm tired. I'm... I'm exhausted. It feels like the first week when you have your chemo, it's just not stopped. I get these bursts of energy. I feel like myself uh, very, very rarely, and then I, I, I'm done. So if I have like a two hour excitement or a visit with somebody or someone comes over, I'm excited because I'm so like, ah, my old life, my old life. And then I'm just, I'm dead. I'm just, after that, I'll sleep for a day or two. And it's, 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 uh, I wouldn't say depressing. I'm not depressed. I know that. It's just kind of disheartening. Maybe that's the word. Um, I'm just ready to get back to normal and it's not happening. And I know it will and people, I, I get it. It will happen, but I'm just telling you how I feel. And there's other people out there that are probably going through the same thing. And they just want to hear that they're not crazy. Um, Okay, so also the uh, huge setback for me was I've got shingles this week. Yay! I've had them before. I have them on my wrist and on my foot. 
and I had this bump on my, a rash start on my hand. I thought, okay, my skin has been really sensitive since having chemo, so it could be anything. Next day it was really angry and I had a pain in my back shoulder and it was like not a muscle pain. It wasn't quite that, it felt more like a nerve pain and then uh, the next morning or the same morning or the same day rather, it had dawned to me, crap, I've had the same pain with my shingles underneath my rib cage, crap. So off to my doctors we go. He jokes and says, well, Chelsea, you not have a workplace form in your hand, so you've probably diagnosed yourself with some sort of acute illness. What is it today? And I'm like, I think I have shingles again. He starts writing instantly about the prescription for the antiviral. Um, and I'm like, aren't you going to look at it? And he's like, uh, you've, you've had shingles before. I'm like, please look at it. Humor me. And yes, it is shingles. So that's frustrating and that set me back and I'm more tired and it just makes me more aware of how sensitive uh, and delicate my body is. And maybe I was trying too hard to get better too fast and it's not, it's not gonna work. So I've been figuring out. Um, my uh, hair, okay, this is one month of hair. Um, I shaved it just before my last chemo and I never really lost all my hair as you probably have seen in my last videos. Uh, a few, um, I probably lost about 50%, but it's coming in like crazy. I can now pinch it. That's exciting. Um, my eyebrows have pretty much all gone uh, and eyelashes, but my eyebrows, I'm sorry to get close here, but they're all sprouting new and eyelashes as well. So that's kind of nice. Um, I went and did the Look Good, Feel Good program through Wellspring, uh, that cancer support center that I've been visiting all the time because it's a wonderful place. And that was a wonderful program. I um, would encourage anybody going through this, whether it be at the beginning of your stage or now to go, it's wonderful. You get a whole bunch of free product stuff that you would never buy for yourself. And they teach you how to put your makeup on, like you actually have to do it. So you go home and know, because I don't wear makeup, sorry. Um, my um, other complaint is neuropathy uh, from my knees down. It's just, it's painful. If I spend a lot of time on my feet, like not even a lot, I don't even want, by a lot I mean like an hour, which is to, nowadays is a lot for me. My feet are just throbbing and aching and sore and sometimes burning at night. And just this weakness behind my knees where it's not like you can rub it out. It's not something that you can like elevate your legs. It doesn't, nothing really takes it away. And yes, I understand the solution is another pill, but to be honest, I don't want to take another pill. My body's tired. Ah, uh, constipated. I'm still constipated. And just in case all those that really wanted to know. And it's really frustrating because one of the medications of the chemo can cause uh, chronic constipation. So I'm trying to combat that with uh, back to eating healthy and a lot more vegetables increasing my water because now I can tolerate it because I don't feel nauseous all the time. And yeah, I did feel nauseous the entire time. You really didn't realize how gross you felt until you're done. Um, still don't have my period. I never wanted that back so bad. Um, I'm frustrated as you can probably tell by this video. I think I'm also frustrated because I'm having episodes of like brain fog, chemo brain if you will. It's I just sometimes can't find words, like almost right there. Uh, I used to be so quick, uh, follow things real quick, and I'm now finding myself doing, huh, what? And it's just, uh, I hope that comes back because I'm scared. Not, I don't like that feeling. Um, and that's, uh, we did a wonderful fundraiser through my work. My work's been great with um, during my illness. Uh, as I said before, they've sent me cards every week, which have just been cheer you up and make you realize that you have something to come back to when you're when you're done your treatment um i had one of my best girlfriends who's been my, one of my rocks uh during my treatment make me a wonderful shirt for my last chemo day chemo may take my away my hair but it cannot take away my awesomeness i'm probably not reading that right brain frog and then on my bum she put this one tough bitch chemo grad october 4th and that was really fun um on my last day of chemo um, anybody can contact me if they have any questions. I'm here all the time on my couch. I'm so sick of my couch. Um, and I can't even get out as much because I just get so tired of my immune system's crap. So I have to be so careful. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. This has been a long journey. It's not even done. I'm going to see, Oh, I'm going to see a oncology specialized naturopathic doctor on Friday and she herself had breast cancer. She didn't go through chemo but now she's geared her whole practice towards oncology patients 
And I'm actually looking forward to it because I'm hoping she can help set me on a better path. I'm trying my best with all I know, but sometimes you just need someone to say, hey, this is what you need to do. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of excited for that. And we'll see. I'll keep updating. I'm going to put some more videos uh, up. It's just, as I said, there wasn't a lot. It became very repetitive and I was kind of gross towards the end. My last chemo was horrible, horrendous. It was, I, uh, oh gosh. Oh, I just felt so sick. I never vomited, uh, though, I must say that. But um, kind of that feeling like you wish you could vomit and probably make yourself feel better, but it just never went away. And just like the worst hangover, as I've said before, uh, it just got worse and just really not. And it seemed to be like a cycle. Like I would have a good one, a bad one, a good one, a bad one. And that uh, was kind of also disheartening because you knew if you had a good one before, which I did on my 11th chemo, that I knew my last one was going to be horrible. And it was. Pardon me. Oh, burps, vitamins, gross. All right. Well, everyone, uh, take good care of yourselves, please. Um, share this story with anybody that's going through or has been through cancer. Um, and I wish the best for all. And I can't wait to get better again.